What's up, guys? It's Calibre here. And the Beast. And I'm Carol. And this is Meliodas. And this is Mephisto. Also, ignore the thunder here in the background. It's about to storm here. But we're actually coming and talk about snakes. Particularly... Well, a specific... Well, I was going to say it. Um, <clears throat> particularly a Burmese python. Well, there's other snakes in there, too, but it's mostly the Burmese pythons. Yeah, that's the most common one I've seen that's not supposed to be here. Well, yeah. So, honestly, what, what this is, is I think a good portion of people remember in 2017 when... There's a snake coming up my arm. I'm sorry. Um, in 2017, uh, what hurricane hit Florida? Was it happening? Uh, I'll look. I don't remember the exact storm, it doesn't really matter, but a storm hit Florida and destroyed a um, importation site that housed a lot of reptiles. Mm -hmm. And um, a good portion of those reptiles took up refuge in uh, the end place. And um, they repopulated. And. Um, with other things, I think. I'm not, I don't exactly understand if, I didn't double check the validity of this, but apparently they had bred with another type of snake, I don't know. Um, regardless, they're a huge problem. And um, they're still being hunted because they don't belong there. And because they're, ignore my weird stuttering thing, I have snakes slithering all over me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Like actually, um, <laughs> and um, the whole the whole reason they're here is because um, I'm honestly not against the hunting of these snakes in the Everglades or in Florida in general, or in Florida in general. <laughs> um, even though I like snakes. And I like wildlife, and it's because I like wildlife that I'm. Can you? What are you doing? Um, it's because I like wildlife and um, stuff that I'm. I'm perfectly for hunting of the animals. So this all came about because there's there are these videos on Instagram, and uh, you, you pretty much can't get a single video on there that gets more than like a thousand views. It doesn't have some kind of hateful message, but it was this girl picking up a Burmese and then carrying it toward the truck before getting pissed off about how leave the wildlife where it, where it is and they're wild animals, leave them alone and have a couple things. First off, the girl that picked up the snake um, hunts them so they can and brings them in so they can be um, humanely euthanized because they don't belong here. Someone had said, why don't you just relocate all the ones that you uh, you see, because there's somewhere between 30 and 300,000. 30, 30 and 300. Yes. 000. I was getting there. Of these snakes in the Everglades that they, they think, anyway. As well as there's nests and stuff like that, because Florida doesn't really get cold, so there's nothing that will really damage those snakes environmentally and there's no predators for them there because they're not native to Florida, they're native to Southeast Asia. Um, can't do that. Can't house them in zoos for the same reason. There's way too many of them. And unfortunately there are not a lot, there are not that many responsible pet owners to be giving out these snakes as pets either. Um, so the only humane option and the only safe option would be to catch them and euthanize them. And he is completely up my sleeve now. Goodbye! <laughs> Wait, did he come around um, the top? No. This is one snake, this is the other. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to take off this sweater to get the back. Um, <sighs> Where was I? Oh, yeah, there are enough responsible pet owners because some of those snakes were probably also pets before that were released into the Florida 
Naturescape? I don't know what I'm trying to say with that one. But, so, relocating them is not an option. You can't just let them live there because there's mammals there that them and themselves are becoming extinct because the pythons are just eating them. <clears throat> are you going to chime in? Oh, um... Like, I'm dealing with snakes over here. Oh, actually, my only other thing was, is, um, all snakes are wild animals. I I don't have any control over this thing, and thank you for being, like, a perfect example of me. Um, this thing isn't trainable. It's not domesticated. It, it won't be able to survive without human contact. It is completely reliant on humans. But as for being, um, domesticated or not wild anymore, <clears throat> he absolutely is not. He doesn't know me. He doesn't understand why he's here. He is... They are... Sorry, there's one in my sleep, too. They are essentially still completely wild animals. Oh, don't hiss in my face! Oh, that felt weird. He hissed? Oh. Well, he breathed at me really aggressively in my they, face. I, I, I didn't know he's also. Breathed. He can't see very well right now. Um, but he's not a tame animal. Pythons do this. They just cling to warm things. Yeah. And this one, this one doesn't care. He just found, he found a cave. That's what he thinks. He thinks he's in a cave. He's in my sleeve. Like, they're, they're not, like, dogs or something like that. Like, they may be human or lion, but they're all wild. The snakes in people's houses, they're all wild. Lizards, they're all wild. This thing doesn't know any tricks. <laughs> they don't have the brains like most pets do, like cats and dogs. You no, know, these things only have reptilian brains. Which means they don't, they only have instinct. Yeah. <clears throat> and another thing, they don't know right from wrong, and... They, they act out on instinct. Yeah. I understand that it's difficult to, you know, look at look at these animals and go, well, we put them here, we should be able to fix them, and, and whatever. And it's difficult to, to think that the only answer is death. And it is, but life's not all sunshine, sunshine and rainbows. Or oh, lollipops, for that matter. Um, and sometimes these things happen. I don't, I don't, I don't think a lot of people who argue against it realize that a Burmese python can kill a child. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about bringing that up, but I was going to let you touch on it because you know, again, you know more about snakes than what me or beasts. Well. Are. The area that I live in, there is a uh, a ban on constrictors, and I didn't know that when I moved here. I got these guys somewhere other than the area that I live in. But there is a ban on constrictors, especially oversized constrictors. That uh, Burmese and reticulated pythons. And um, the reason for that being is somebody's Burmese got out and killed a child. Didn't eat it, just killed it. Because children like to poke things. And they like to pick things up. You know, we were all kids chasing frogs and stuff like that. Playing with fish. You know, catching bugs, being a child. And, um, yeah, it was in an apartment building. The snake got loose. A uh, kid got a hold of it, and the um, python killed him. It struck at him, and it constricted him, because it was bigger than him. Yeah. When you have these pets, first off, you have to be a responsible pet owner to have, like, a Burmese or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and when you get these pets, and when they come up to size, you are advised you need not you're advised to never take them out alone because they can severely hurt you and then they will escape 
And then you have this four to six, seven foot python. Oops. Like this, this guy, it's more than that because this guy is uh, four feet. And the one that's currently crawling on my back is five feet. <clears throat> and reticulates and vermes, they get a lot bigger. Yeah. Sorry, I'm very distracted. <laughs> I know you are. Um, but no, they, they can get really big. Aren't? Which one is it? Reticulated or Burmese? Which one is the biggest in the constrictor family? That, I don't know. I don't know which one's the biggest. I'm the wanting female's to... female's always bigger, though. Yeah, I'm wanting to say it's probably a retic. I, I watch a lot of snake people on YouTube. One of the guys, one of the guys I watch, he has some really big pythons. Really big. Over seven feet long. Yeah, they they get big and they're not venomous or anything like that, but they're just they're dangerous just from their sheer size. Like Yeah. But yeah. I mean if you know, if you're out there and you and you are against them killing these snakes, then what I urge you to do is I urge you to go out there yourself and try to figure it out. Because bitching about it on the internet isn't going to do anything. And something needs to get done. And it, things are going to continue to get done. Whether you like it or not. Yeah, and... <clears throat> uh, we seen... Well, she had seen one comment. was talking about something about a bag. It's like, alright, well you have a bag, right? How are you going to get in? Are you going to be like, snake, get in here? Okay, That's here's the thing. So the girl picked up the snake. I, this is a little different because he's little. But basically picked him up behind the head, and I'm also not trying to like hold him because he's little. Picked him up behind the head and then picked him up here. And they were like, oh, it's going to hurt him. Are you hurt? Obviously, the snake doesn't really have a lot of whatever. But you grab him behind the head, yeah, it can be stressful, but it's so you don't get bit. They're not taking these animals out to love them. They're taking them out because they're destroying an ecosystem and because they need to be removed. <coughs> well, there's an, uh, there is another way to hold them. What you do is you take your thumb and your middle finger, you kind of get them behind the neck, and then you have your finger on top of their head, and you can hold them like that as well. Ah, uh, that's... That's how, but that's how her. professional snake handlers handle snakes like cobras. Handle and venomous ones that they got a hold of previously. When you're just running down and grabbing a snake, you're just gonna grab it like this. Yeah. He is so tiny compared to the other one. What? He's longer, but the other one's just fat. <laughs> And but I love them both. I actually, the one that she's messing with right now, I actually have his shed in a jar over here. Yeah. Literally traveled 1,300 miles to me. So it was pretty cool. But anyway. But, um, yeah, no, I ain't got nothing else to add on. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and you got something to say. You didn't ask Beast if he had an opinion. Oh, do you have an opinion, Beast? Now you guys pretty much know everything on the head. You guys go. Well, I, I, think... I agree with you. Just in the video. Yeah, just in the video. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be up alerted when we upload a new video. Anyways, guys, this is Storm Family signing out.